Hello and welcome to the Ghanaian Perspective with me, Alhaji Irbad Ibrahim. And today I want to have an intimate uh, interaction with the good people of Ghana, those living in the country and those living in the diaspora. Wherever you are in the world, you've followed with keen interest the arguments and counter arguments as to what the decentralization efforts we are making should be and how do we devolve power uh, to the very local level to enhance good governance uh, in the Republic of Ghana. And key to achieving that has been the issue of a referendum that would have given Ghanaians the opportunity to vote either yes or no to the election of municipal chief executives and to district chief executives. The arguments on the side of the state or government has been that it would have been a good thing uh, for the Republic of Ghana. But the opposition at the very 11th hour withdrew uh, from whatever consensus that had been built over the period of the negotiations uh, between the government and all stakeholders. And His Excellency the President eventually addressed the nation on this issue and called for the suspension or cancellation of the referendum. That giant step that has been taken by the president has been met with ambivalent reactions. Some have said it's good that he took that decision. Others have also censured him uh, for taking that decision, especially with all the prior expenditures that were incurred by the taxpayer only a fortnight or so uh, before the referendum. But today my message to you is a national one and is a patriotic message that whatever the pros and cons of the referendum, now a decision has been taken by the first gentleman of the land. Let's not allow a referendum divide this nation. I believe what is meant to happen will eventually happen and the governments both in the past and present uh, have made commitments uh, to uh, devolving power so that it reaches the local level for efficiency of governance and uh, for the long-term development of the Republic of Ghana. So I would urge everybody uh, to put this thing behind us and forge ahead as a country. And whether this is a suspension of a referendum or a cancellation, only time will tell. But after New Year's Eve, we'll enter a rigorous campaign season that will lead us to election 2020. Of course, this issue cannot be on the front banner. It will be on the back banner. But whatever happens, I hope and pray that as a nation we will come together and forge a formidable front uh, for the pursuit of our destiny and collective good as a people. So the referendum is no longer coming off. Municipal chief executives will be appointed by the executive arm of government and district chief executives will also be appointed by the executive arm of government. Whatever happens, it is my fervent hope that DCs and MCs will work hand in hand with parliamentarians to bring development to their constituents. All over the world, the referenda have taken place. The United Kingdom currently is grappling with the aftermath of a re Brexit referendum. It happens that a nation may take a decision on an issue only for it to realize that you could have taken a different decision. So let's not consider this a lose-lose situation for ourselves. Let's remain united as one people. I appreciate the partisan diversity there is in this country, but let's always put the national interest ahead of our personal and partisan interests. So let's not allow this referendum divide this nation. And to the Electoral Commission, a lot of water has gone down the bridge some have said sensitization was done, the NCC played its part. Um, some have also said ballot papers have actually been printed already. 
Uh, so a lot of money, energy, and time on the part of the Electoral Commission and all stakeholders would have gone into it. But then, at the end of the day, let's hope for the best decision for the Republic of Ghana. And let's not be divided on this issue. Thank you and see you soon. Bye-bye.